It's important to me that the songs we sing at Coastline are all rooted in scripture. One of these songs is better as one day. It comes directly from Psalm 84, written by the sons of Korah. But to understand the significance of the psalm, we need to know the story behind the men known as the sons of Korah. See, generations before Korah, their forefather, led a rebellion against Moses over the position of high priest. Moses wisely chose to let God fight this battle for him, so he proposed a praise and worship standoff, if you will, thus letting God decide the outcome. As Korah and his followers began to worship, God was displeased at his rebellion, and the Bible says that the earth opened up and swallowed the tents of Korah, meaning he, his family, and all his belongings were literally wiped off the face of the earth. So the obvious question is, how do the sons of Korah pop up in the Bible generations later as such honored musicians and prophets? I believe Psalm 84 is the key to this mystery. They're not only giving us words to live by, but maybe telling us what sustained their lineage. In verse 10, they write, Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. So see, instead of fighting for a higher position like their forefather Korah or resting in the comfort of his tents, scholars believe the sons of Korah distanced themselves from their father's cause and chose to spend their time serving God at the doors of the tabernacle. Much like Jesus telling his earthly parents, I must be about my father's business. So while Korah was known for his rebellion, his sons were forever known for their unshakable devotion to God. So what can we learn from this story? Today, you will be pulled in many directions. The world, your friends and family, your own heart and ambitions, and even the enemy has a plan for your life. And he may even try to use your past against you. But the only voice that matters, the only one that cares more about your life than you do, that provides eternal peace, joy, and forgiveness, is the voice of our Creator. Listen to the promise we find at the end of this psalm. The Lord will give grace and glory No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man who trusts in you.